Hi, this is Steve with the Time Shifters Podcast. Now, you may have heard at Gen Con that they have a lot of miniature gaming. In fact, that's how Gen Con got its start. But this is definitely not miniature gaming. I'm here with Jeff and Stu with the True Dungeon, and this is exactly the opposite of miniatures. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Thank you. A little tired, but having fun. Always having fun. <laughs> so tell us about what the True Dungeon is and how this is... Uh, a unique experience at Gen Con. We're trying to tell people G True Dungeon itself is the best gaming event at the best four days of gaming, and it's a live action interactive dungeon. Yes. When you go to well, um, <laughs> people, people come in and we have um, rooms set up every 12 minutes. Uh, we run them through coaching, run them through training, uh, then we run through seven rooms. So it's two hours of fun. You fight monsters, you solve puzzles, um, use your brain. Uh, what do you think? Little hand-eye coordination hand -eye skills. Coordination. We make you as the player be the character. You're not going to sit and roll dice and, and, and kind of et cetera. We're going to make you solve the rooms. You work together. You 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 fight together. You you uh, adventure together, and it's up to your skill sets. It's a lot of fun because it, it is all about the team. Because yep. I know when Jeff created the game, that's what he thought about. Because first edition D and D, mm -hmm. it was you had to have your your four main characters, right. or you were not going to do anything. <laughs> so that's so that's all part of his idea that he wants everybody to work together. We have uh, new dungeons every single year. One year we had a retro dungeon, yep. which we kind of brought back some of the uh, the the exciting parts of previous dungeons. But every year it's it's a different dungeon. We usually have two dungeons, one combat, one puzzle, and we have a store that's set up like a, a little village store where people can come and trade tokens, buy product that we sell, get a little promo in there, you know, so. People can come in and experience um, what we do. It's set up like a little village. Um, we have like inns, we have a little tavern. With, at nights we have a tavern, not during the day. Do um, you want to tell more about the, the Storyscape or the, the inns or? Sure, sure. So the Storyscape itself is an area that all the public can access. Mm -hmm. And it's the first kind of aspect of really drawing people into the immersion of the game, right? We want them to kind of get into the, the sense of it all, the scenery. So we really engage people and kind of get them in the mood to play a fantasy event. Mm -hmm. So we let people kind of come in, wander around a little bit, mm -hmm. see there will be, be some NPCs might be uh, wandering around with a couple clues, some rumors, could be some hints hidden about. You never know what's in the story. But the scheme. rumors could be false, like all good rumors. Great. Well, I hope people will come and check out the dungeon, and, and uh, it's uh, going to be a lot of fun, I think. I think so. All right. Come and adventure.